we are. First off, can I ask you a lighter question before we get into that? That's related. I'm very interested in some good. What's like good bush meat that you enjoy? Like, what oh are some? God, what are some of your meals that you really? Because I like trying. Like, it's hard to find something that, like, I'm thrilled about. Like kangaroo, I wasn't a fan. Of, like shark, I thought was gross. And but I'll, I'll always try a new thing. But very rarely do I find something that I'm like, ooh, that. So. Venison stromboli. <laughs> I no longer eat meat. I'm pescatarian these days. So I only eat fish and beans and stuff because the meat in general is just it's an environmental train wreck uh, on what on what it costs environmentally for us to produce cows and that sort of stuff. Chickens are okay and fish are, are pretty pretty sustainable. Just the feces but, alone <laughs> that yeah, goes no. into uh, the land and waterways and everything else. But I, so when I was in Cameroon, I only had like only basically had two rules on what I would not eat. I, I I'm I'm pretty open to eating anything, but me coming from you know uh, growing up sort of in a conservationist in the U.S., my my family was very very outdoorsy and we were very much um, had a conservation ethic. Is when I got to Cameroon, I was like, well, I'm not gonna if you know I know that the community I'm getting posted to. The primary source of protein is meat and it's hunted meat. So I was like, well, mm -hmm. I have two rules for myself. I'm not going to eat anything endangered and I'm not going to eat primates. It's just too weird, man. I did see like, you know, and it, it, for me, it's to see something that looks human-like in, mm -hmm. in a soup pot is, is, is disconcerting to me. And, you know, it's just other people's cultures and, and that. So I have those two rules. But um, at the time, my favorite meat in Cameroon, and it was not endangered at the time, was a pangolin. Pangolin is a scaly anteater. Um, yeah. And it is absolutely delicious, man. It's probably the best thing I've ever eaten. It's like fine pork. But at the time, okay, this was not endangered. All right, shortly after that, in recent times, all the pangolins have become endangered. Even all the, the sub-Saharan tree pangolins and ground pangolins have become endangered, largely due to the meat and pet trade, to South, a meat and medicine trade, sorry, to, to Southeast Asia. So it got... In someone's mind, okay, the scales of this scaly anteater, they'll, you know, they're like wiener potency, these sorts of things to, you know, make people virile. And then after, after I was in Cameroon, those scales started getting ex exported to, uh, to markets in, in Southeast Asia and, and Asia. And the, the animal numbers plummeted, these pangolins, and uh, they got on the endangered species list. Pangolin is delicious um, for, <laughs> for, for its detriment. Now its scales are used as medicine. And the third thing, it is easy as all get out to catch. It just is in a tree, you hit it with a stick, it rolls up. So it rolls up like a, not like an armadillo, but like a roly-poly or something, you know, and he just carries Yeah, it. yeah. So that guy, unfortunately, all those pangolins got three strikes against him. And I'm not surprised they're on the endangered species list, but man, they are... They are tasty. I never eat one again, but 